Hey guys, test play Albert Odyssey Legend of Eldian. This is a JRPG released in uh, 1997 here in the West um, for the Sega Saturn. So yeah, let's uh, check it out. I think it's a fairly obscure RPG. Not many people know about this one, I think. But, uh, you know, I think, as with the Saturn in general, not many people know about Saturn games anyways, so... Let's check it out here. And the peace that once was is no more. Goblins pillage the land. Oh man, that's pretty bad. And now the murderous roving bands have set their ruinous sights on the village of Carnate. The roof is on fire. We can't stay inside or we'll be burned alive. But if we go outside, the goblins will surely slay us all. I'm sorry, Cirrus. I did not want to use you in this foul battle, but... It's all right, Master. I understand. I would do anything to protect you and your family from harm. Use me as you will. Maria, we have to go, now! I'm coming! I'm coming! Okay, so it starts off with the uh, village burning down. A lot of JRPGs actually start off like this, <laughs> believe it or not. Curse their vile goblin hides! Maria, this way! Follow me! Curse their vile goblin hides! I <laughs> love the voice acting in this game. Curse their vile goblin hides! Got the, the kid in tow too, the baby. The this toddler. <laughs> oh my god, look at these nasty things. Goblins. Appreciate the full voice acting instead of text Seriously? dialogue. Would have been nice if we also had text dialogue too, but yeah. Man, they're strong. No! Oh no! They got me! Uh, no. ah! Not the women and the children, oh no! Master, I, I failed you, but I shall not fail the child. What happened to the child now? So the child is an orphan now? I'm surprised the goblins didn't kill the child, too. Everyone, come! Look what I found in Carney! Seasons came and went, forty in all. In that time, the child Lyra rescued grew to young manhood. Pike. Okay, my name is Pike. Interesting name. Pike Size Noise Factory. So, okay. Well, it's cool that they had uh, that voice acting cutscene, I guess, in the beginning. But yeah, um, it's your standard looking JRPG now. Um, I think that Saturn JRPGs look just as nice as PS1 JRPGs, even though a lot of people, of course, PS1 has way more games than Saturn. And a lot of people rightfully believe that PS1 is probably one of, uh, if not the best console for JRPGs, but still, Saturn has to be respected too because it's in a very underrated console. 
especially in North America, and uh, did have a lot of decent JRPGs for the system as well. Um, so yeah. Like yeah, Panzer Dragoon Saga, Shining Force 3, um, had uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth, you know, some I played. Yeah, um, definitely Albert Odyssey is, is one of them. It's a good idea to equip me. <laughs> it's always talking to me now. Alright. It's uh, cool that my sword talks to me and makes me equip it. Alright, let's go to Arms and Armor here. Alright, Cirrus, let's equip that. Pike. Magic. Hmm, there's my stats there. I like the uh, soundtrack and music is all really nice. Like a lot of JRPGs just have really nice music, uh, especially in this era of JRPGs. So I call the '90s the golden era of JRPGs, which it is. So, oh my God, is this Angel my mom now? She's my mom replacement, basically. A lot of JRPGs it starts off, you know, with you coming downstairs to greet your mom. Every game from Pokemon to Chrono Trigger is like this. <laughs> You don't, there's like no uh, dad here, just come downstairs to, and your mom greets you. <clears throat> Fulte? Who's that? Fulte, okay. Fult? Fulte? So I guess that angel's now acting as my mom. She's literally my guardian angel now. It's not like that man to miss a meal. Okay, fine. Yeah, she's like basically acting as my mom. She's my, my new guardian, I guess. Yeah, she's a guardian angel, <laughs> literally. Is this Fulte's house? No. Oh, these are all angels. Hmm, okay. You know, I guess I'm living in an angel... I'm living in an angel-like city or something? Everyone's angels here. Yeah, I guess I'm living in an angel's neighborhood or a city or whatever. Because that angel, I guess, adopted me. She adopted me and now I'm, li I'm living in an angel world. Okay, those are archangels. Archangels are always male, right? Just making sure. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is uh, kind of beautiful. That was the most important thing, never forget, okay. Oh, what's this, a save point? Looks like a save point. Volte. Oh no, what are, the, what are these guys? Arsis. Well, that's not fair, guys. I'm not an angel. I'm a human. Because the that, that angel girl adopted me. So it's not fair that I don't fit. Because I'm not... It's not fair that I was adopted. I'm a human. I'm not an angel or archangel. Oh, those guys are mean. Sure. Pike became friends with a somewhat geeky race walker. Sure. 
sure. I'm a silent protagonist. Yeah, those guys are definitely uh, mean. Leia, she, he's interested in Leia, my uh, adoptive mother, I guess. Oh, Pikey, buddy. Okay, don't know who that is. Start to look for Folte. Where's Folte? adopted mother. I mean, there must have been a reason why she took me in. Hmm. Man, yeah, where do I find Fulte then? Or you went with Leia. I live just to get a peek of her. <laughs> She's a hottie plus. I guess a lot of people are interested in uh, in her. Yeah, I guess a lot of people are interested in Leia. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Know. I have no idea where to find uh, this Folte guy. Is he my? Uh, well, actually, I don't know who he is. Let's see. Hmm, where did he go? Is there a map of some kind? Well, I, guess, I guess that's a map, but it doesn't really help me here. second layer. It's the second layer of the... Yeah, I guess there's a bunch of people living up here in the, in the trees, so I have to go to the second layer. Yeah, I guess since Leia adopted me, I should have a better view of humans now. Some kind of uh, balcony lookout thing. You appear in the pot. Ooh, mint received. Okay, get stuff from these pots. Protect ring, that's cool. Ooh, nice. Protect ring, there we go. Always oh, nice finding secrets. There's a um, Folte. So you couldn't find Folte, he just came back home himself. Cirrus. Is that my sword talking? My, my sword just said that? Interesting. So my sword can talk. <laughs> I guess it's sentient. Cirrus, right? That's my sword. It can talk.
out of water. Disabled by overwhelming hunger. Okay, this is my duty. Full taste, such a lazy ass. Oh, why do I have to do all the errands? It's funny we have to um, go do <laughs> like in order to get up and down through this uh, level treehouse or tree. Um, I guess cause I don't know what to call this. It's like some kind of like tree apartment thing where uh, you go upstairs and there's more houses but anyways in order to get up and down through this tree complex we have to go through another person's house that's kind of odd okay where do I go to um, where do I go to get water here okay where do I go to get water Okay, yeah, that's that's where. Oh, see, so I had to go outside. Happy forest. So my sword's talking again. Serious. It's interesting how my sword talks. Oh, there's a well. Okay, so now I got dialogue options. So yeah, my sword is talking to me, and my sword is a sentient thing, I guess. So it talks. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> well, that's interesting. You don't see many games with a talking sword. Okay, we have to get our flowers. Yep, every girl loves flowers, right? Harpy, okay, they're not angels, they're harpies. Okay, I thought they were angels. Still hit you both and take the power crystal. What the heck? Power crystal. 
You bastard. <laughs> Unladylike language. I'm shocked. Wow, she actually did say that in the Japanese version, I guess. <laughs> Uh oh. No, I can't have Leia be dead too. Alright, well, I'm gonna die too, right? Oh no. We both got turned to stone and the sword is still alive. So the sword somehow saved my life? No, Leia's... Leia's... How come she was, he was able to save me but not her? Oh no, he's, she's still stoned. Oh, that's his sister. Hey, I got turned to stone too. The only reason I was saved is I guess my sword somehow saved me, I don't even know how. I don't even know how how did I get saved but not her. So my sword then my sword saved me but somehow was not able to save her. I don't even know how my sword was able to save me. She's not dead, she's just turned to stone, which I guess is reversible in JRPGs. So my sword has a gender? My sword is a woman. <laughs> my sword is a girl, apparently a female. Interesting. Yeah, time to go on my great quest. Cotton armor. Oh man, that's not my very good armor. Cotton armor is my, like, what's cotton armor? Is that just the cotton shirt then? Nobody m makes armor made of cotton. That's just like a shirt. Okay, so my sword has a gender. Apparently my sword is female. Did not know that. I don't know also how my sword saved my life. And uh, turned me back from stone, but okay. Maybe that's just how it is for this game. Gotta have a main character. The cheapest, least respected stone granite. <laughs> how come you won't go? Fulte is such a lazy bastard. That's your sister, and you're not gonna you're gonna send me out, but not help her. Well, anyways, yeah, this, this game needs a hero, so I guess I'm that hero. <laughs> what did you just say? You little brat? You're gonna say that? Oh, damn, that means she's never gonna get cured. You little brat.
That guy must be heartbroken. I didn't know that she was a harpy, I thought she was an angel. Alright, here's the overworld map. Traveling on the overworld here. It's pretty similar to other JRPGs. And we've got random encounters, that's... Again, expected for a 90s era JRPG. Yeah, random encounters were definitely a lot more common in the 90s. Werewolf dog. So it's like half dog, half werewolf. Or actually, just a, it's just a weird dog, I see. So it's like the pre-evolved werewolf. Because, <laughs> yeah, you know, wolf is like powerful than dog. So weird dog is like the less powerful werewolf. Oh man, you did the uppercut. I didn't know you were weird dogs could do an uppercut. Oh man, okay, yeah, so you got your standard turn-based combat and random encounters. Pretty typical of a mid-90s JRPG. Ah, ah. Yeah, stop blocking, you little biatch. Oh, it died. Nice. Another wear dog. I'm just surprised these guys can do uppercuts. Oh look, they melt when they die. It looks like I can have up to five party members, judging from the amount of slots at the bottom of the screen. I have up to five party members here at a time. What? How come we can't get past here? What the heck? Am I going the wrong way? Oh my god, I went the wrong way. I have to go all the way back now. Let me guess, a were dog. Die. Let's go disintegrate. Stupid wear dogs. We can have a better enemy variety than this. Oh, maybe here. The ruins of something. <laughs> Strange man, it's like Obi Wan Kenobi.
give him the silent treatment. Um, I'll tell him my name. I'm cruising for tricks. Seen any? man. Okay, it's a mysterious man. What do I hope to find in these ruins? Nothing there, just that guy. What's that saying again? The real the real reward is like the, the friendships we made along the way or something like that? Yeah, so that's that the real treasure there was the was the friendship that we made along the way with that mysterious guy. <laughs> that was the real point of that uh, that place I guess. We blocked. How does a weird dog get block anyways? I guess every time there's like a chance of blocking. Pretty girl. Okay, it's my it's my duty to help her. She's a pretty girl. Got to help her. Hmm. Set their sights on my innards. <laughs> a nice Shanti. Is that a wine? Shanti's a wine, right? An Italian wine. I was thinking you could fight them while I turn around and run very fast. Wow, thank you so much, you big strong hunk of manhood. <laughs> Ooh, okay. She has a way of getting into me, huh? Oh, by the way, good luck. Oh, uh, she just pushed me there. So mean. She just like she just pushed me into these monsters. <laughs> and <then> she just <laughs> big hunk of manhood. Oh man. This game is uh, pretty humorous actually. Pretty humorous. I like that it doesn't take itself too seriously, it seems. I mean the story so far has been pretty sad. Losing both my parents and then losing my, I guess, adoptive parent. But yeah, the dialogue options and the, the yeah, the dialogue's still pretty interesting in this game. So I like that it's not like as serious as it could be. Oh, that was so smooth, Swordmaster. I wanted to run, but your skill with the blade transfixed me. I had to watch. Yeah, why didn't you run? You even told me you were gonna run while I fought those monsters. Are you some sort of kind of sicko? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I was certainly roast meat on a dirty spit. Lulu Salaban. I've no noticed that you've been looking at my unusually well-developed eyebrows. <laughs> what? 
Uh, okay. Oh, she's the offspring of a beast and a human. You mean someone committed bestiality? She's the product of bestiality? Oh, man. I, my turn-ons include foot rubs and shiny swords. I'm dedicated to better living through herbal medicine. <laughs> She's funny. Lulu. Oh, she's a traveling merchant, right? Then whip out your money pouch and show me the money. She's pretty funny for a traveling merchant. She's pretty funny for a traveling merchant. Uh, and she's a product of bestiality, too. Interesting. Mint. Spearmint. Heal, restore, calm arm. Pink rouge. Nice makeup. Why would I need this? Sunglasses. No, what? We might. We never know when we might need sunglasses. Let's get one of those. Makeup. Now, I don't know why I need that, because I'm a guy, but... Hmm. It might be good as a gift. Spearmint. Restore age balance. Buy some more mints here. You sure that's all? Yes. Careful out there, Swordmaster. Oh, cool. I like that with his voice dialogue, too. Careful out there, Swordmaster. Thanks for your patronage, Swordmaster. There are no full price returns as a health issue. <laughs> I can buy back items, but I'll have to charge a 50% restocking fee to cover sterilization and refurbishing costs. The fact that she even takes a return is kind of funny, because you never... Well... You could, but like, yeah, you can resell items back to merchants and JRPGs, but usually, yeah, 50% of the cost is pretty normal. Or even 25% of the cost. We know JRPG merchants are always pretty, uh, stingy about returns. <laughs> You're extremely weird, but I think I love you. I understand the attraction, Swordmaster, but I must live the life of a nomad. <laughs> it's a terrible curse to have good looks and play the helpless game well, but I have learned to live with it. I'm just bad news for someone as strong and handsome as you, okay? That's a funny response. Oh, a pass will cross again. Oh, she even waves to me. I like that she waved to me. I'm sure I'll meet her again. She's funny. That's a, This is a funny game, actually. Have those kind of interactions. That's pretty funny. No, oh, it's blocked. Where else can I go? Nothing here? Oh my god, are you serious? Nothing? Oh 
I may have random encounters. I understand why random encounters is not uh, very popular in modern RPGs, because they are kind of annoying. But random encounters were very much a thing in the 90s. <laughs> so yeah, almost, uh, yeah, most most RPGs, JRPGs, I would say, back in the 90s had random encounters. Oh, right. Where do I find that priest? And it's always the same enemy. I've literally only seen one enemy this entire game. The were dog. <laughs> How many were dogs can there be? You know? Is this the only enemy around here? I wish there was more enemy variety here. Why are they all were dogs? I get a measly one gold from them too. It's not like they were they're very uh <laughs> It's like no matter how many I kill, I only get two experiment two experiments experience points and one gold. So it's not like they give you a lot either. You can't even farm them. So it's not like you can farm these guys for experience or gold, because they don't give you very much. But they're the only enemy around here, so what can you do? I also like it's interesting how they wear like prisoner clothes or something. I didn't even know uh dogs could wear yeah, I didn't know they, they could wear to clothes, but I guess wear dog. I mean, part of them is human, I guess. Uh, so this doesn't look like I can pass through that area, and this area is blocked by this rock here. So I'm not really sure what I can do here. Here I can do something. Nope, I can't. There's just a little bridge. Oh, look at this. We can go through here maybe. Mountain pass. So I wonder if you can. Uh, it oh yeah, there's random encounter. Yeah, I was gonna ask if there's random encounters in here because it probably seems like there should be. Oh, okay, finally get a different monster. Look at this, we got a snake. It's not just were dogs anymore. You get the snake guy too. You know, block the shit out of that. Oh man, that hurt. You did an uppercut. You know these uh, were dog guys can do like Street Fighter type uppercuts or something. Block that biatch. Block that biatch. Oh my god, come on. I wonder if every attack has like a chance of being blocked or whatever, because it seems like uh, I get blocked more than I did. Attacking twice. Come on, you little biatch. Oh my god, even though a snake can block. I don't know how a snake can block an attack. Since I have a so I have a shield, it makes sense that I can block. It doesn't make sense for a snake to block an attack. What are you blocking with? Um there's magic in the water, I can feel it. Drink the water. Of course, you get some magical ability, right? Did that restore my health? The water restore. Yes, I knew it. Whenever you drink water in a JRPG, it always restores your health. That's a rule. Oh my god. I might flee, actually. I don't, I don't feel like putting up this fight here.
Yeah, nice. My flee that. Oh my god, jeez. Each of them, like, I got attacked four times before I can even do that. Wow. Who, uh, can I pick up this skeleton stuff? No, I can't. What the heck? I can. Man, the random encounters are very persistent. What the heck? This looks like me. That doesn't make sense. That looks just like me. That's strange. What's this? Okay, it's only one guy. Let's just take care of this guy. What are these things? Like guns? Turrets or something? Which way should I go? Oh god. Oh, no way I'm fighting this. There's too many guys. Take a. I had to take a mint for that. Oh, here we go. Oh, here are the goblins. What the? The fairy. Pick the smart fight. Okay, so this is uh, probably like a boss fight then. These are the same goblins that destroyed my village and killed my mom and dad. Oh, he died. Okay, well maybe it wasn't so hard. <laughs> I thought these they could be harder than that. It's gonna be harder and tougher than that. Okay, you guys are no tougher than the weird dogs. Thank you for saving me from the yucky poos. I'm totally free. The Vodagamas are like so disgusting in <laughs> the complexion. This, this fairy speaks like a, a valley girl, like a California a valley girl. Oh my god. I guess I like owe you something return. No, I'm totally not that kind of fairy. No, you're like all sweaty and icky. 
strong enough for me to have a maid for a woman. I'll show you the totally secret passage. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're a righteous hunk. Okay. I mean, no wonder uh, people commit bestiality in this game because, uh, man, the monsters are all like coming on to me and stuff. <laughs> the monsters are like, coming on to me in this game. Life for thanks. You're violating my personal space. I'm totally trying to stretch my wings. You're all grilling me for intermission. <laughs> Take a pill. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. More random encounters. No more. Oh my god. past that. Oh, look, the town's right there. Let's go. Oh. Oh, look, different enemies. There's zombies. Let's take care of these zombies. I wasn't expecting zombies to be in a game like this. I mean, it's a fantasy setting, not a horror setting, but okay. in this town. Oh yeah, I forgot that my sword can talk. It is a female sword. The local tourist for <laughs> all information is power, kiddo. But since I'm so amazingly nice, I'll only charge three gold for each fact. I'll give him the figure. No respect for all the beat it. Why would I gonna pay you gold for just to talk? I know, I know that information is, uh, he's an information dealer, but come on. It's a JRPG. Just give me the, just give me the deets, you know? Uh, let's see, short sword, long sword. Long sword, my, oh, I just happened to just have 36 gold here. Nice, perfect. Just enough gold to equip that. Sorry, I'm gonna have to un unequip Sirius, who is, a. Uh, a yeah, very important sword, because it talks and everything. Who is this guy? Nothing. Oh, so sad. That's sad. houses, because that's what you do in JRPGs. If only they had chests for me to steal. What the heck? I'll let her start dating. Nine more birthdays. So the legal age here is a little bit higher than real life. What the heck are you doing in my house? That's a good question. Good question. That's what happens in a lot of JRPGs. A lot of more JRPG uh, NPCs should ask that. 
you ugly spiky hair freak boy. That's uh that's a bit rough, don't you think? That is rough. You call me an ugly spiky hair freak boy. Well, I have a good idea why she can't make friends. Maybe she be she should be a bit more nice. Try being a bit more nice, you know. Uh, I don't have any money, right? But let's see if I can sell. Of course, I can't sell uh, Cirrus because that's a very important item. That's it's a talking weapon, so I can't. Uh... Yeah, I can't sell Cirrus. But yeah. Cool, refreshing flavor. Mmm. Uh, another power crystal thing? Oh, won't that, uh... Won't that, like, guy on the dragon come to here as well? Won't that dragon come here? That dragon guy come here and take that crystal? Because they have one? <laughs> Magic user. to the local tavern here have. Hmm, nice. It actually, uh, sounds like a bar. Pass cast and take full credit instead of blaming it on my dog. to Whitney Houston. What about my needs? Let it go. I'm going to let it go. No spoiler, but telling her yet. Okay. No, I didn't I didn't even get an option to get something from the bar. I just want to hear the dialogue here. It's so the dialogue's really funny in this game. Sure. Let's listen to the singer here. Yeah, she's a babe, but what's more important, you thinking naughty thoughts or saving poor Leia? Okay. No, I can't go up there, huh? Okay, interesting. Oh, 
What happened after I listened to her sing now everyone's gone? sure where to find the priest. Oh no, I'm sure this guy, the guy came and stole the crystal, didn't he? He probably turned everyone to stone. Yep, I knew it. I knew he was going to be here for the crystal. Yeah, that's a good question. Cast accuracy is poor. That's a good question. I don't even know how I came back to life. It's this girl. It's this girl. Lulu. can save my sister. Hmm. I don't want to, Lulu, but I'll do it for you. Want a piece of meat? Come get some. Oh 
yeah, we ran while he was attacking. Uh, <laughs> nice, she punched him off. She punched him off the dragon. That's funny. That's funny, she punched him off the dragon. Hard hurricane. Oh, okay. Time to attack. This is the boss. Yeah, no, this is the boss. Cool. I can't believe this motion girl saved me. You seem like an interesting person. I am. <laughs> it's not every day I meet someone new that gets me killed. Ooh, you get me. I go to your house. You can tell me your story, I'll tell you mine. Ooh, is that an invitation? I've always missed, I would be honored, I've always had a weakness for cute girls. You shameless little flirt. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she's gonna take me to her house, huh? I can't wait for what, for what happens there. Ika and Pike. <laughs> My sword talks. A magical short sword. try and give me dinner, huh? El Polo Loco? That's like a chicken chain in the US, isn't it? That's a grilled chicken chain. Oh, 
Okay, I can't go to her place. I'll just wait for her to uh, make the dinner. Let's see if she's a good cook. She can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's funny. Your priest is not in this town. Hey, we're both organ orphans? Yeah, of course, you're, you're part of my party now. I'm funny, perky, and knowledgeable, yeah. I thought that was her uh, outfit. That looked like a battle outfit to me. I'm just like waiting around for her to change. But well, she's certainly taking her sweet ass time. <laughs> like a feeling wasn't the, just the clothes. She needed a bath too? Okay, well see it's the same outfit, right? You're wearing the same clothes as before, right? Yeah, she's part of my party now, of course. Nice. Now she follows me around, okay. So she doesn't, um, I guess they follow me around. They don't um, just go into me, I guess. Like uh, some JR JRPGs I like. Can we go into a room still? No, nope, guess not. Oh, okay then. Guess I'll stop here. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is Albert Odyssey. Um, that's actually a really enjoyable JRPG. It's probably uh, one of my favorites on this, like certainly on the Saturn, right? There's uh, Shining Force 3, there's uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth, and Panzer Dragoon Saga. I think Albert Odyssey might actually be one of my favorites, maybe my favorite RPG on the Saturn so far. It's a really nice one, and it's very underrated. I don't hear many people talk about it. So yeah, um, it's got charm, it's got humor, it's got um, pathos, right? I guess you could say. Um, that, like, the tragic story of uh, the hero's background. But the fact is, the dialogue is actually really funny too and humorous. So, yeah, all in all, it's a really nice RPG. RPG. So, definitely another great one from the uh, mid 90s. There's so many great JRPGs in the 90s. That's just the golden age of JRPGs. So, here's another great one Albert Odyssey. Glad I checked it out. Thanks for watching, guys.